Welcome to WP Math. Here in this video, we will learn about text control. And in order to learn text control, we will take this design from CodePan and implement inside of our widget. After finishing this video, you will be able to change this heading and read more text of the button dynamically. But before that, let's create a widget. Go to your dashboard, Elements Kit, My Widgets, Add New. Now, let's give a widget name. I'm giving the widget name as article and the widget icon is going to be box. I need to search from Elemental Library. Select your icon and save it. I'm keeping the category as basic and now we need to work with our HTML and the CSS. So let's copy all of our HTML and paste it into our HTML tab. Let's copy all of our CSS and paste it into our CSS tab. Alright, now let's see the output. Save your widget, open any page with Elementor Page Builder and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, you will find this article widget drag and drop on your page. Now it's time to change the heading and the button text dynamically. Go to your dashboard, click here and you will find this text control. Drag and drop in the second column and there you will find title. In here we need to set a control name. I am giving the control name as heading. The input label is title. I am giving the name as text underscore title after that let's fill up the default value i'll copy the existing text for the default value all right we need to take the input from this title and show as an output inside this heading in order to do this elementor widget builder provide you a variable this variable name changes according to this name so if you change here, this name will be also changed. Now let's remove this static title. Remove it, make a bit of a spacing between the starting and the closing tag. And between them, click this variable and it will be replaced here. Save it. Go to your font page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, click on your widget and there you will find your control title is heading and the title there is a default value let's change this value I have written custom heading test and you can see it's working now now let's change this button to do this you can go back to your dashboard we have to take another control click here again take this text control and now let's change the name so, I'm providing the name as name underscore button. And here you can see we have got another variable text underscore button. Now this one should be in here. Alright, before that, let's remove it and give our default value. The default value is read more. In here, we'll show this text button. Make a bit of spacing between the starting and the closing tag and click this variable. Now you have to change this label name. The label name is button text. Save it. Go back to your front page and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, again click on your widget and there you will find two input. Let's change the second one. I have changed the text as button and you can see it's working now. Now if you need this input box bigger, you can use block level feature. To do this, go back to your dashboard, click this title and there you will find label block. Enable it and save it. Go back to your front page and refresh it. After refreshing the page, 
Click on your widget and you can see this heading is in block level. Thank you for watching this video.